My name is Michael Rossi. I'm a quality engineer here at North Star Battery. North Star Battery produces uh, valve-regulated lead-acid batteries for the use of uh, telecommunication, cell phone towers, and engine start uh, uses. Some of our larger customers are Verizon Wireless, uh, Ericsson, Huawei, uh, ZTE, uh, Batteries Plus, Exide. What we manufacture here in Springfield is everything from the beginning of the process to the end. From uh, We cast our own grid, we, we paste our own plates, we assemble the battery here, we put it through all the quality testing in-house, and then uh, we ship it out at the end. To be a quality engineer in North Star Battery, we, uh, it's a lot of data analysis and Six Sigma projects. Uh, I'm a lean, uh, green belt, uh, lean Six Sigma green belt, and we've been working on a lot of weight variation projects uh, when we have uh, quality issues uh, with some of our quality testing. We'll go in and analyze data and, and see, uh, backtrack through, uh, through our processes what the data is telling us and what we need to examine. We've been using the Infinity QS software in our sub-assembly area, which is pretty much the first four areas of our uh, total production line. And we've used it in a couple of uh, variation of ways. We have some manual entry in some of our in our applications, and we have some uh, one of the applications where we're using a gauge server to with a, with a, a scale. We just started using the DCS and the DMS uh, service for data collection and data management. Uh, we're able to pull the data, we're using the OLEDB uh, as our data provider and we're pulling it right off of our SQL table into our uh, Infinity database and it, it's actually really neat to watch it, uh, all the charts update as the data is being collected in real time. Yeah, I think it's a real, uh, it's, it's a real boost in credibility to the system where we can say this is going to have a direct impact on our productivity and our efficiency when we can say uh, we can react um, in real time instead of at the end of the shift, at the end of the day, at the end of the week when problems already happen, we can make adjustments to the uh, to the system after one or two failed data uh, failed data points as opposed to a day or a week later. I feel like electronic SPC is is the new technology. I mean, uh, SPC has been out there for a long time, and people have been plotting control charts on paper with a pencil for a long time, and. Uh, once you start getting into the electronic SPC and the real-time data and uh, the alarm monitoring and the event recording and everything else that goes along with Infinity QS, it is a good, a, a good system in place and they have a lot of, uh, a lot of neat tools um, embedded in the software that I feel like moving forward in, in my career I'll, I'll be able to benefit from. It's really become something that we've relied on at the, since we implemented it two years ago and uh, it's, it's really been helping us move in the right direction as a company.